Hey gamers, Mucklick here, and I like game reviews that don't waste time and don't spoil the game. This is Octopath Traveler 2, an open-world party-based JRPG developed by Square Enix and Acquire Corp and published by Square Enix. It is available on PlayStation, Switch, and Steam, and comes with a T for Teen rating. In full disclosure, I received this game for free as part of a sponsored stream over on Twitch, but I completed the game afterward in my own time, and the goal of this review is to determine whether or not this game is worth its $60 price tag for the common gamer. The setting for the game with no spoilers beyond the early tutorial. You play through the stories of up to eight travelers. You choose any one of them that you like to start with and meet the others as you progress. Each of them has their own reasons for their journey. The apothecary with amnesia trying to figure out why everyone fears her uniform. The priestly inquisitor trying to solve a series of murders. The scholar falsely imprisoned for the deaths of his family planning his escape and revenge to name a few. As you progress through each of their situations, you eventually unlock a joint story that brings them all together. The general gameplay is that of old turn-based JRPGs. You control one character on the map and move around. You can interact with people, take on quests, pick fights, etc. If you are out in the wild, you are occasionally attacked and your active party is thrown into combat. Of your eight travelers, you can have four of them ready to go at a time, but you can change your lineup in the taverns. In combat, there are many strategies you can utilize, including buffs, debuffs, finding out enemies' weaknesses, breaking their guards, etc. You can also customize the characters with different jobs to expand their arsenal, and different weapons and armor to maximize various combat styles. The story is the focus of the game, but you are not tied to it, and can progress it or not at your leisure. How much game time can you expect for your purchase. Octopath Traveler 2 took me a whopping 62 hours to beat the final boss of the main story, and that was with me primarily focused on the main story and doing a minimal amount of side quests. If you did all the side quests you found, like to explore, or search for more of the hidden endgame content, you would get even more than that. Comparisons to other games. I've not played many JRPGs, but in talking with other members of my community, this game's playstyle is very similar to games like Dragon Quest and the old Final Fantasy games with a fresh coat of polish. The details. The art in the this game runs what they call HD 2D, or High Definition 2D, and it was the first thing that hooked me in. The landscapes are staggeringly beautiful, something I never expected from a game with 2D sprites. The combat has impact, and some of the graphics absolutely blew me away, so far above what I expected from the title. Sound and Music the music in this game was fantastic and had a wide range of tracks for various characters, events, and boss fights. One of my personal favorites was each time Temenos the Inquisitor went into Sherlock Holmes mode to piece together a crime scene. Wait, is he re- mm -hmm. What in the Sherlock is this? Mm -hmm. He is restructuring the crime Even scene the with fire? Scene? I believe this is roughly how things looked before the pontiff was slain. First, we must find out how the beast came to be here. Likewise, the sounds of combat had weight to them and were quite satisfying. Controls. The game can be played with controller or mouse and keyboard. It allows easy rebinding of controls you wish to change, which was perfect. I played this game via Steam on PC and could play most of the game with just my left hand on the keyboard. Saving system. The game has saving points, which look like quills on the map. You interact with these in order to save your progress, but there is one in nearly every zone and they show up on the map, so finding them was never difficult. Content creator concerns. None. I streamed my entire playthrough on Twitch and uploaded the entire thing to our Mucklet Plays YouTube channel and did not experience any muted VODs or have any issues with copyright claims. Do you need to play Octopath Traveler 1 to play this game? No. Although both series occur in the same world, this title does not require having played the first game to enjoy this one. Anything negative to say? Two small items. The first is with the writing. With so many overlapping stories, I'm sure they had an entire team of writers taking part on this project. Some of the stories were 10 out of 10 amazing, especially when they all tied together in the end game and you realize the breadcrumbs that they had laid out along the way. Opposite of that, some of the other stories were essentially believe in your friends and the heart of the cards and everything will be fine. These are, of course, very normal for anime, but when they were set alongside some of the other amazing tales in this game, they felt kind of bland by comparison. Again, this was a minority of the stories. The second item is that there is no XP share. 
Anyone who's played the first Pokemon games will recognize this issue. You have eight people, and four are in your party at once. You will form favorites that you like to use, and they will get much more XP than the others. So when you want to, for example, do the next chapter of the Thief story and she wasn't in your main team, you have to go power level her for a while. This was more of an issue in the second half of the game, when some of your people were much higher level than the others than it was in the first half of the game. Final thoughts. I was originally sponsored on Twitch to play two hours of this game, and I was so drawn in by the gorgeous graphics, music, and early storytelling that I played for another 60 hours to finish it. And again, I was mainly focused on just the main stories and not the side stuff. I give the graphics and sound 10 out of 10, the strategy and combat system 8 out of 10, and the storytelling 8 out of 10. But that's because I'm averaging the many 10 out of 10 stories and the couple of 5 out of 10s when I say that. Overall, I found this incredibly large title to be a lot of fun. It's HD 2D style pulling me into a genre I was new to all the way to its end. While $60 is a higher end price for games these days, I believe this game meets the expectations for a $60 game in all departments. And for those who like this style of game or want to try their first one of this genre, I have to say that this game did indeed feel worth it. Once again, this video was not sponsored, so if you enjoyed it, please consider hitting the like button to help us out with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more content. If you'd like to see more of my own playthrough of Octopath Traveler 2, I'll include a link to that playlist from our other channel down below. As always, a massive thank you to our dear patrons who make content like this possible. If you'd like to become a supporter and earn early access, there's a link to that in the description. Safe travels!